welcome back guys to this stat pro tutorial uh, today i'm going to show you how you can easily analyze and uh, a steel port and frame so let's get started go to configuration uh, just click on the um, units accept new project plane uh, you can give any of the names over here this is lanthus and uh, next uh, you must check that edit option is checked and then finish now this is the graphical user interface uh, you have to use this show a window now just start from zero position and, and just, um, move by adding beams right? uncheck this in order to get the perfect view now go to general uh, support create I want the fixed and uh, add it again pend edit uh, now it's time to assign so must check that use cursor to assign uh, boxes which, uh, you know highlighted now just assign this load as here escape and then again assign here now just uh, now uh, let's do the load and distribution definition so go to load and definition load case details add it I go to uh, dead load in dead load edit again uh, I take a wind load edit and then close it right. okay now in load case one add uh, I will take as a uniform force of uh, minus 10 kN per meter edit and then close it. And in the second case I will take uh, you know nodal load because I want the wind load to be acted on a particular load. Now you can give this as 10 kilo no, sorry, 10 kilo newton and the global edge direction add it and then close it. Now I'm to assign it click on uh, the load case one um, assign it and here right similarly go to second one assign it I want here you know in order to just highlight the nodes and beams you just just go to labels check this node numbers and beam numbers boxes um, apply and then okay right now you will get this the node number and the beam numbers now this time okay so the property because the main property what we have just uh, left uh, here is the section property right so let's go to properties define I want this action to be rectangular and uh, give it as 0.4 meters, 0.3, add it, now this is for the column section, now this is for the beam, 0.3 and 0.2, add it and close it, now this time to assign it, click, assign it, this and this are the columns, and the second one to the beams. So we have done all these things, right, now this is time to just uh, uh, analyze it, add it, close it, Let's go to analyze, run analysis, save, okay, so this is the analysis and design, uh, click on done, right, now we just done the analysis part, now let's have the post processing part, just ok, so here we will get the deflection, since uh, the intensity of the load here is just uh, a bit lower, so you cannot see the perfect uh, deflection diagram, but you can see the, uh, the green bars over over the beams and column. Now this shows the displacement or you can see the deflection caused by the intensity of the loads. Uh, similarly you can find the reactions by going here you can suppose reactions and now go to beam and now you have these uh, you know the bending moment um, diagrams but on per member bending, bending moment diagrams and uh, when you just click on graphs you will get the graphs of uh, uh, bending moment about z axis uh, shear force diagram uh, about you know y axis x axis right so this is all about post processing your steel portal frame and i hope this will help you and uh, and, and you know uh, let you to create your new structures and analyze them with these basics right uh, thank you for watching for uh, my next my other videos on uh, stat pro just uh, go to my channel named rohit babu uh, thank you and have a good day.